हेलो भिवर्स आई एम मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल स्टैंड बिफोर यू विथ ए टॉपिक दलित मूवमेंट दलित मूवमेंट्स इट इज फाउंड इन प्लस थ्री फिफ्थ सेमिस्टर डी सी टू पेपर एंड द नेम ऑफ द पेपर इज डेवलपमेंट प्रोसेस एंड सोशल मूवमेंट्स इन कॉन्टेम्पररी इंडिया so far as dalit movements is concerned two aspects of it have been focused in this video one is the meaning of dalit movements in india other one is the phases of its development what is the meaning of dalit movements in india and what are its phases how it has developed but before i discuss meaning of dalit movements in india and its different phases of growth i want to inform my viewers that my channel number is at the rate dilip kumar pal never forget in this channel videos from plus 3 first semester to sixth semester political science videos from plus 3 first semester to fifth semester ethics and values videos from plus 3 first semester to second semester political and general elective and videos of plus 3 first semester environmental studies and some videos of plus 2 first year and plus 2 second year political science videos so i request my viewers any topic you want just write my name dilip kumar pal in the name of the topic in google or youtube you will get videos in odia and english if videos are available in the channel let us start meaning of let us start dalit movements in india first of all we'll take off its meaning then we'll take off phases of its development so what is a dalit movements in india in india from time to time many group movements are made like dalit movement peasant movement women movement etc dalit movement is a vital movement which is meant for the protection of interests and development of dalits or horizons or untouchables or scheduled caste or fifth born of indian caste system in india from time to time various group movements are made like women movements environmental movements peasant movements and dalit movements but among these movements dalit movement is a very vital type of movements dalit movement means it is a movement for the interest as well as for the development of dalits dalit means horizons or untouchables or caste of the of the fifth varna of the indian caste system so dalit means horizons or untouchables or scheduled castes or fifth varna of indian caste system so dalit movements in india means it is a movement which is made for the interest of dalits and for the development of dalits dalits means horizons or untouchables or scheduled castes or fifth varna of indian caste system so what is a dalit movements in india indian caste system has four varnas like brahmins khatriya vaisya sudra indian varna system has five indian varna system has four varnas on the basis of hindu tradition indian caste system has four varnas one is brahmin khatriya vaisya sudra 
रेस्ट ऑफ द पीपल हु आर कास्टलेस आर कंसिडर्ड एज दलित्स और अनटचेबल्स और फिफ्थ कास्ट और लोएस्ट कास्ट और अवरनेस और अति सुद्रस और पीपल हुज कांटेक्ट इंप्योर और टार्निस अदर्स दलित मींस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ हिंदू ट्रेडिशन इंडियन कास्ट सिस्टम हैज फोर बर्नस वन इज ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय वैश्य शूद्र एंड रिमेनिंग पीपल दे रिमेनिंग पीपल और दो जो डू नॉट बिलोंग टू दिस फोर कैटेगरी आर नोन एज दलित्स और अनटचेबल्स और फिफ्थ कास्ट और लोएस्ट कास्ट और अवरनेस और अति सुद्रस और पीपल हुज कंटैक्ट इंप्योर और टर्निस अदर्स सो इंडियन कास्ट सिस्टम ऑन द बेस ऑफ हिंदू ट्रेडिशन इंडियन कास्ट सिस्टम हैज फोर बर्नर्स वन इज ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय वैश्य शूद्र एंड दोज हु आर एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द पीपल आर नोन एज दलित्स और स्कड्यूल कास्ट और फिफ्थ और फिफ्थ कास्ट और लोएस्ट और लोएस्ट कास्ट और अवरनेस और अति सुद्रस और पीपल हुज कॉन्टैक्ट विथ अदर विल टर्निस और मेक हिम इम्प्योर इन इंडिया ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ 1991 सेंसस 2001 सेंसस एंड 2011 सेंसस देयर पॉपुलेशन इज 15.8 16.2 16.6 respectively on the basis these dalits their population is not too less on the basis of 1991 on the basis of 1991 census their population is 15.8 on the basis on the basis of 2001 census their population is 16.2 on the basis of 2011 census their population is 16.6 of the total population in urban areas they are engaged in casual labor in factories and construction sites in urban areas the dalits are engaged as casual labor in factories and construction sites in rural areas they work as peasants agricultural labor etc so in urban area the dalits people are engaged mostly as casual labor in construction sites and factories etc in rural area they are engaged mostly as peasants and agricultural labor their population is more in states like uttar pradesh bihar punjab odisha west bengal tamil nadu rajasthan and andhra pradesh their population is more in states like uttar pradesh bihar punjab odisha west bengal tamil nadu rajasthan and andhra pradesh for the development of these people like reservation in government jobs for the development of these people like reservations reservations in government jobs reservation in education institutions reservation in state assemblies reservation in parliament preference in promotions etc movements are made known as dalit movements in india so for the development of the dalits from time to time various movements are made like movement for movement for their reservation in government jobs movements for their reservation in education institutions movements for their reservation in uh, state assemblies movement for their assemblies in parliament and movements for their reservation in promotions so for their development from time to time various movements are found these are known as the dalit movements in india so we are clear about the meaning of dalit movements now we'll discuss phases of its development how the dalit movements came or happened what are the phases of this uh, dalit movements how dalit movements took place here we'll take up two phases pre independence phase and other one is the post independence phase in the pre independence phase there were some dalit movements in post independence phase there are also some dalit movements so now we'll see in the pre independence period who which dalit movements took place 
before independence of india various movements for the development of dalits were made like non brahmin movement in maharashtra anti dravid movement in tamil nadu sri narayan dharma pari polana movement in kerala namo sutra movement in bengal adi dharma movement in punjab etc jyoti rao gobind rao phule formed in 24th september 1893 satya satya shodhak samaj in pune he also published a book gulangiri in 1873 deals with the plight of dalits or the problems of dalits so dalit movements took place in various times and we can divide this movement into two phases prior to independence what what dalit movements took place after independence what dalit movements took place so prior to independence various dalit movements took place for the development of dalit people what is the movement said non brahmin movement in maharashtra adi dravida movement in tamil nadu sri narayana dharma pari polan pari polana p a r i p a l a n a pari polana movement in kerala namo sutra movement in bengal adi dharma movement in punjab etc then jyoti rao gobind rao phule formed in 24th september 1893 an organization satya shodhak samaj satya shodhak samaj in pune also he formed an organization jyoti rao gobind rao jyoti rao gobind rao phule formed an organization on 24th september 1893 1873 24th september 1873 in pune and the organization which he had formed known as satya shodhak samaj he formed it in pune it was for the development of dalits again he again he published a book gula gulam giri in 1873 deals with plight of dalits so these were the dalit movements prior to independence but after independence which dalit movement took place in post independence period following dalit movements are made number 1 dalit buddhist movement dalit buddhist movement it was a movement in 1856 dr bhim rao ambedkar launched dalit buddhist movement which rejected hinduism and promoted rights of dalits of the community nearly half a million dalit converted into navayana buddhism means reinterpretation of buddhism by ambedkar in 1956 a dalit movement took place after independence it is known as the dalit buddhist movement in this movement ambedkar decided not to adopt hinduism because he was dissatisfied with the caste feeling class feeling of hinduism he decided to withdraw from hinduism and decide to join with buddhism which he interpreted in a new form the new form of buddhism made by ambedkar is known as navayana buddhism so ambedkar along with half a million of people joined with buddhism which ambedkar defined in a new form Nagoyana Buddhism. So it is known as the Dalit Buddhist movement. Ambedkar, along with half of his half million of his supporters, joined in a new form of Buddhism, which is interpreted by Ambedkar. It is known as the Dalit Buddhist movement. Number two, Dalit Literal Movement. Another movement took place after independence is the Dalit Literal Movement. It means it started in 1960s. After 1960, it started. in maharashtra and spread across india after 1960s dalit literal movement started in maharashtra then it started to spread all over india what is dalit literal movement through writings poems arts etc lives 
operation struggles plights etc of dalits are expressed and published in various languages like marathi hindi bangla odia punjabi sindhi kannada tamil nadu in this period the problems operation struggles plights of the dalits are expressed in different poems art books etc and they are published in different languages like marathi hindi bangla odia punjabi sindhi kannada tamil nadu views of ambedkar namdev bhassal dhsl saran kumar limbale are expressed in various writings in these poems art and writings ideals of ambedkar namdev dhassal saran kumar limbale are expressed then dalit third one is dalit panthers movement dalit panther movement after independence it took place dalit panther movement on 9th july 1972 on 9th july 1972 dalit panther movement was formed by a group of mohar writer and poet in on 9th july 9th july 1972 dalit panthers movement was formed by a group of mohar writer mohar means a type of caste in maharashtra so this dalit panther movement was formed by a group of mohar writers and poets on 9th july 1972 like raja dhale dhle raja dhale jv power and namdev dhasal to combat caste discrimination in maharashtra some mohar caste and poets formed dalit panther movement and they and they these writers are raja dhale jv power and namdev dhasal they combat for caste discrimination it was influenced by black panther movement of usa which fights for freedom of black people this dalit panther movement who was made by some mohar writers and poets they fought for the interest of dalits the and they are, and they are influenced by the black panther movement of usa which was fighting for the interest of black people finally bahujana samaj party 1984 in 1984 kansi ram formed this party on the ideals of ambedkar narayan guru gautam buddha jyoti rao phule in 1984 kansi ram formed a party known as bahujana samaj party in 1984 and he was influenced by the ideas of ambedkar narayan guru gautam buddha jyoti rao phule this party works for bahujan means referring st scheduled caste st scheduled tribe sc scheduled caste backward classes and religious minority and 1984 bahujan samaj party was formed by kansiram and it fought for it worked for the interest of bahujan bahujan means scheduled tribe scheduled caste backward people and minority communities They, this works for the interest of neg all neglected and backward classes of in society this works for the this or, uh, party bahujan samaj party works for the interest of all neglected and backward class of in society so in this video we have discussed meaning of dalit movements in india and there are and there are phases of development so i request my viewers to subscribe my channel at the red dilip marpal and a word of your friends those who are not those who are ignorant about this channel so some students will be benefited remember by giving some help to anybody we will not have a loss it is the symptom of a human being thank you have a good day